What is up, everyone? This is Crypto God. So today we'll be talking about Chainlink, and of course price predictions and all the analyst stuff about it. And of course we do have some bullish news. We have Iran. We have Trump's proposal of capital gains tax. We got Cardano and Spot uh, Shopify. Uh, I meant Spotify. Why did I say Spotify? I meant Shopify. Uh, based, this actually came out yesterday, um, but I just found an article about it today. And of course, first time buyers, four ways the property market will be tougher. All right, so let's drive straight into it because it's going to be a quick video. All right. So, top 100 cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin is 11,400, Ethereum 388, XRP is around 28 cents, Tether's Tether, Chainlink, wow, this baby's been on a ride, I mean, Chainlink was, I mean, what was it, was it, was it number 7? Yeah, it was number 7, so it beat Cardano, then it just flipped over Bitcoin SV, Bitcoin Cash, Chainlink number five. I mean, guys, what does this tell you? That people are bullish about the D5 sector on oracles. Now, of course, if basically Chainlink doubles from what it is, it will already be number three. It will destroy the market cap of XRP. And of course, I see that happening. My own prediction for the end of this year for Chainlink is of course thirty dollar. Of course, it's in financial advice. Don't take anything I say because I'm an idiot from the internet. Anyways, and by next year, I do happily see Chainlink at a hundred dollars. But that that of course will depend on the market caps of Bitcoin and Ethereum. If they go up, everything goes up. If they don't, they don't. But we'll see what happens. So let's drive straight into the analysts and let's see what's going on. All right. So I already got the Fibonacci out. Uh, I'm just going to quickly talk about it. Of course, I do have a, a little system here that tells me uh, where to go long, some short, some daily time frame. Of course, it could go for an hour hourly as well. Anyways, so Fibonacci, Fibonacci, Fibonacci. Okay, so we hit the resistance at the one Fibonacci. And then, of course, it backed all the way down to 16, probably found... Probably found a, a support line here at the 1576. Uh, let me see if I can draw it for you guys. It may be much, much better. Uh, brush. I think it's a brush good. Just change the color to red. All right. This is just a prediction because we haven't touched this point oh, many times. But I think this. Oh, that's a bad line. Anyways, this might be our support. We don't know yet. So now that we hit resistance, I'm waiting to see what happens next. Do we go all the way down to the to the 0 0.786 um, consolidate before we head all the way back up? Uh, we'll see, we'll see. But I don't see we going here because this is an oversold territory. So oversold territory is around $6.2. And of course, where's the golden pocket? The golden pocket is right here at the 0 0.5, which is around 11. Let's say 12, what is this? 12 to basically 10 to 12 dollars. But yeah, um, I do see this going higher. It has to consolidate now because everything is looking super bullish and it needs to cool off. Uh, let's see if I can bring the uh, MACD. Uh, let's see. Oops, my bad. Let's see if the MACD does come up on this. Uh, let's see. Uh, la, 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 la. Alright, where's the MACD? Where's the MACD? Okay, no. I can't, I can't bring it up because I didn't set it up. But it is all about the Fibonacci right now. I'll bring it back to you another time. But volume is looking good as well. Everything's looking good. It, everything is, of course, overbought. Um, but, of course, once we do retrace down to 0 0.786... There should be a leg higher. So don't worry about it, guys. I'm still bullish about Chainlink. I still see it hitting $100 by sometime next year. Maybe early next year. Maybe January, February. We don't know. Anyways, let's go straight into the news. Iran pushes oil investments on citizens. Winklevoss advises Bitcoin. Um, 
basically what Iran is saying that, hey, we've got an oil deal coming up. I think everyone should go along oil. There you go. It's something right here. But however, as you know, guys, oil is a bad investment. As it says here, where is it? With a tweet that seems it is almost direct response to Iranian government plan, Cameron Rinkovos took the opportunity to highlight the flaws in the oil market and suggest that Bitcoin is clearly the best option for investment. Accompanied by Wall Street Journal report on the fertility of uncertainty of oil markets, Winkvos wrote, oil is not a reliable store of value. Hashtag Bitcoin. I mean, I hope the Iranian people do not long oil and other stuff, but we'll see what goes on. Trump's proposed capital tax uh, cuts could benefit Ethereum 2.0 stakers. Uh, this tax rate will be for the middle class, as I remember. And yeah, it will be good for the crypto market in general, not just Ethereum 2.0 stakers. It will be everyone in general. Of course, we'll see what happens. Um, uh, I think Congress still needs to approve this, but of course, you can then just make an emergency emergency uh, declaration and bring it to life cardano 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 you'll be sleeping uh i did see this yesterday on shopify um some shops have already uh brought in cardano as a payment form uh which is great i mean i'm, I'm bullish on cardano i do see cardano hitting over a dollar soon uh, maybe not now but maybe sometime end of this year maybe Hmm? But we'll see what's going on, but this is just a, a good bullish news just came out today. It's bullish enough. And last but not least, we have um, UK news, which is first time buyers, four ways the property market will be tougher. Of course, uh, just to break this down, despite... There we go. There we go. This, is, this is where you want to read. Okay, so despite the fact that you do need... Uh, Besides the fact that inflation is already happening, I mean, everyone can go to the local shop and see everything's going up. Not only that, it's just that the down deposit has been increasing. So there you go, it's right here. So lenders will be asking for a larger, larger deposit. The typical first-time buyer family aged around 30 and putting aside 5% of their income, we need to save more than 20 years to pay for it. I mean, that's, that's one news there. Savings have just got tougher. I mean, that's that's also true because lower incomes, everything's more expensive. I mean, hey, you don't have to be a genius. Uh, the stamp duty stuff isn't really helping anyways. I'm moving for a job may be expensive, which jobs being lost or longer works maybe need to relocate. Extra travel could hit savings while moving to a city for work is likely to mean higher housing costs. Um, I, I, the thing is, this... This will keep getting worse and worse as time progresses into the future. Um, I don't see any of this changing. It will actually get worse. So the next time you go to the bank, they're going to ask you to put a larger deposit. I mean, it's one of those stuff where you say the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. And there will be no middle class. But anyways, guys, this is Crypto God. Thank you for listening. And if you do like the um, analyst uh just give me a like, maybe comment, and of course, please join my Telegram group channel, which will be in the description below. Uh, take care now. Bye.